She's using a level 70 Fabunia's great sword because I'm a Chad. I like the fab. That bird. Envy me. Get jealous. Because I do not have skill issue. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I completed two years on my free to play account a couple of days ago. So it seems like this is a right time to be doing your account showcase. And yeah, I don't have a script, so I expect more of these awkward silences and me spouting nonsense, stuttering and all that jibber jabber. Yeah, I will not be editing that out, don't worry. You can watch it. Bloopers. So first off, let's start with my map. Yeah, this is gonna be a little boring, but where the, where the fuck is my mouse? Okay. Uh, never mind, my mouse is back. So, monster, I I did not explode. I just got the ch I just took the chest, uh, time trials, and yeah, all that stuff. If I came across something, because you know, monster and Liu have pretty low value in terms of primo gems, rubus chest, and stuff. Dragon spine, I truly 100%. You know, using the interactive map. So this is a true 100%. I have completed every single chest, time trial, and all that challenge stuff. The chasm I tried to do some, but it was boring, so it's stuck at 84%. Sumeru is 100%. This area is 100%. This is 96 and 99 because there are some stupid common chest CDs here and there, and I do not want to pick them up. Same story with this 98. Now these are both 100%. I believe there's two or three chests remaining here, although, but yeah, whatever. This is also another case of that true 100%. Because when Fontaine came out, I did explore little by little each day and kept pinning on the map. So this is actually 100%. You will not find any Oculus or just here. Same thing with this one and this one. And then 4.2 came along. I have not touched my regions. You can see 22% and 50%. And I have not unlocked my waypoints yet. I have not touched the world quest since 4.2. And this is the new 4.4 area, still not done with it. Obviously, you can see the unmarked waypoints, unlocked waypoints. Wait, locked waypoints, yes. I was, my mind, my mind was going to say un unlocked waypoints because you know, uh, op the opposite of locked is unlocked. So, the opposite of unlocked should be un unlocked. Anyways, uh, and here's an Azuma. This is also. Full 100%. This is 100, this is 100, this is 100. This island is shit. This island is a piece of shit. I will never go out here. Enconomia mm -hmm. is also pure 100%. And yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, chasm is left. Who can roll chasm? Nobody loves the chasm. As for my primo gems, since I am free to play, I do not have a lot of resources. And I do have Time an impulse, so if I feel like pulling, I end up pulling. I do not save for character except Kazuha. Right now, I am at 6000 Primo Gems. Uh, only one fact half an hour ago, I had 30 pets here as well, but I got the impulse to pull for gaming constellations, and now I'm at 71 pity, and my gaming is still right there. <laughs> I have not gotten a single gaming. And the funny thing is, it is not just these 30 pulls as well. Ever since the banner came out, I have done like about 80 85 pulls on this banner. I have only gotten gaming twice. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That was so cool. Ah, uh, never mind. I got distracted. So, yeah, that's the story. Now, let's see how many 5 stars I have. I'm pretty sure some people are going to be interested in that. So first up is obviously Kazuha. Now he's C2, so you can count him as three five stars. We will let the idle animations play. Xiao is C0. Sino is also C0. Verena is C0. Diluc, this is my first five star. I got him early on the Raiden Yaimiko banner, I believe. No, Yaimiko, no. It was like Raiden Kukumi, I do not remember. You know, like the one in the 2.5, 2.6 or something like that, right in real. So I got him early there. When Bennett was on the banner, I was pulling for Bennett and I got him. Yeah, so I built him and now he's a pretty good man for me. Baiju is C1. I do not, I did not want to pull for his constellations. I just got a double in a 10 pull, so I guess. Wanderer, I was pulling for Faruzan cons for my Hezo. I did not have Shao at that time. I only was only pulling for my Hezo. And yeah, I got Wanderer. 
Yelan, I got early because I was playing for Singchips constellations. So yeah. Also in the same patch as Yelan, I got Shao in the Atlanta Knight stuff, but yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go off with it. And Zhongli I got uh, because I was pulling for No, it's oh, okay, shut up, okay. Uh, we can let everybody play their idle animations except his, his, his is all shit. Anyways, so I was pulling for Noel and I got Zhongli. And now this is going to be a trend, you can see. Wanderer didn't want, pulling for 4 star, got him. Pulling for 4 star, pulling for 4 star, same thing. This is a free character. This I actually pulled right now, obviously. This one I lost my 50 52, which is cool, I guess. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. I used her a little bit when Purina came out, but then I just benched her again. I don't mind her though, it, she's not a bad unit. Ayaka, so this Ayaka, I grabbed her from the eternal banner. Oh no, shit. So I grabbed her from the eternal banner. I was guaranteed. Naida. Okay, oh my god, she's repeating the same voice. Never mind. Okay, so here's Naida. Obviously, I pulled for her because she's the Archon and she's pretty good. As soon as she released, I pulled for her. And now Yohimiya. So Bennett was on her banner as well. And I got her early. Cool. Now this is Monas. She's C2, I believe, right now. I have to check. Yeah, she's C2. I've only gotten her from the losing from losing 50-50s. So yeah, that's kinda sad. Kanyu, I believe I got her right alongside when she re-ran with Baiju. I just wanted some stardust, so I did a 10 pull after getting Baiju and I got her as well. She's just benched. Pitching, I got two of her on the standard banner and one of her by losing 50-50s. Signari, I also lost the fifty-fifty, and my PC is froze. I do not mind it. I don't know why it does it. Sometimes it just does. For uh, no absolute reason, it just gets frozen in the middle of nowhere and stops using my CPU GPU. Even though the temperatures are perfectly fine. And okay, so Signari is invisible now. So remember how I said I will not provide any cuts? Uh, I will not do any edits or cuts here. Yeah, I lied. All in all, I have 25 total 5 stars, including all the constellations, out of which 16 are limited 5 stars, 9 are the standard banner 5 stars, out of which 3 are from the standard banner, while 6 are from losing 50-50s. So I'd say I've been decently lucky, I guess. But anyways, everything is fixed now. So now let's look at my inventory, because... I don't know why some of you might be interested in seeing how many weapons I have. I just I do not. I only have five. I got this early at like seven pity. I was pulling for Fab or Sack. I do not remember which one. I believe it was Sacrificial. I was pulling for it on the banner and I got it early. I don't mind. It's a free five star weapon. I pulled for this. Standard, standard, standard. I'm pretty happy though because these are like the best ones on the standard banner for me. And I got all three, so I'm pretty happy about that. The next thing I want is Skyward Harp. Let's see what I get. So anyways, as for my four stars, you can see, I, I don't need to tell you, you can probably see everything that's here. Oh, this pipe. This pipe I found for this pipe by joining co-op words for a few hours when Farina came out and I beat her. And then I ended up never using it because Fab. <laughs> like my Furina touch just does not leave Fab at all, ever. So it's kind of wasted. I kind of uh, regret fishing so much for this. But it's fine. A weapon is a weapon. This one I just raised after Xianin came along. And yeah, you can see the rest. And oh my god, why do I have over a thousand weapons? I need to follow some of these. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, now time for some juicy artifacts. No, but wait, wait, wait. Let me show you my character builds first. Okay, so let's start off with Farina because she's actually my best built character on this account. I believe she's top 1% on the Akasha. So without Hydra Resonance, she's at 38k max. I will be working. Okay, so without the high resistance, she has 38,000 HP. 
68 over 169, pretty good ratio. And of course, she's using a Pavonius, my favorite weapon. Talents 1, 8, 10. I will take it to 9 sometime when I feel like it. So, the reason I'm so high up on the leaderboard or top 1% is because of two pieces. First of all, here's my flower, my feather. So, the one of the one of those two carrying pieces is this sands, which is so good. Oh my god. I love this piece so much. It is, this is one of my best pieces. And then this is a goblet, kind of okay, whatever. Nothing too special. And this is also a piece that is hard carrying my build because look at that 25% HP. Wow, that is so good. That is so good. That's the best, best stuff that I have, I have on this account probably. I mean, not the best. Uh, Sinchos is probably better, but yeah. So she is my top 1% character. My Diluc is top 2% in some categories, 3% in some, and 1% in some others. Yeah, so it's just a mixed bag. You can see his attack and elemental mastery. He's using the Wolf's Greystone, obviously. 66 over 178. I do not have any energy recharge because I believe in stopping over 5 seconds and battering my Dilu instead of building ER when this world score is only 40 and I only have to funnel 1 E. I'd rather just build more damage. 300 elemental mastery. Full space stone. Here's my pieces. Now these are pretty good pieces. At least in my opinion. This flower, pretty good. This feather, pretty good. But I also have two more feathers. This, this is the one I got recently, but it's not really that good. I mean, it has a lot of crit value, but it just does not have any EM or ER or anything like that. This is the one that uh, I was using earlier until I got this one. So yeah, these. I mean, all three of these are pretty good. This one is just the best. My EM sends. I hate that defense rule so much. It pains me. I wanted more crit rate, but I cannot do anything about it now. Okay, no. My pyro damage goblet on set. I mean, it's not the best one, but considering that it's on set, I think it's pretty good. And my hat, uh, my hats are bad. My hats are bad. This is the best one I got. 16.9% attack. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my Noel and my Hazel are also pretty well built. Let me find them real quick. And obviously, I'm not going to show you every single character I have. I'm just only going to show you the better ones. <laughs> So she's using a level 70 Fabunia's great sword because I'm a Chad. I like the fab. It's so good. It's like the, her best weapon. I always wanted to pull Red Horn for her. But ever since I've used Fab, I just cannot bring myself to pull for Red Horn anymore. Like Fab is so good. It's just so good. You should try it if you have it at R5. She generates so much energy. It feels so good. But anyways, here's my husk. I strong boxed this when 4.0 came out. Here's my hair my pieces. Pretty good. The EM rolls kind of useless, but I mean it is what it is. Again, EM roll, pretty useless, but it is what it is. And this is this one is actually pretty good. This is like the perfect piece. It has crit rate, crit damage, flat defense, because that's the other defense I can get and energy recharge. So all four useful stats. And it only rolled great. I mean, it could have been better, but I I will not complain. This is a very good piece. Now I have some grievances with this. I just cannot get a better geo damage goblet. My goblets are all bad. So this is kind of above average according to my account standards. And of course we have a circlet. I like it. I like it a lot. Even though it went bad attack once, it has pretty good ER and crit damage. Overall, my Noel looks like this. I would recommend you try the fab on her. And then of course come to my Hazel. 1700 attack, 64 206, R5 with Sith, and two piece two piece. I use him as a DPS. I do not use him always. And of course, oh, just look at that ju juicy feather. Just look at that. That's my highest crit value artifact on the account. I mean, yes, it is not 50 crit value, but I don't have any crit 50 crit value artifact. This is the best one I have in terms of CV. So if you do not have this, then bird. Envy me. Get jealous. Anyways, uh, here are my sands. Pretty happy with these. Here's my goblet. Also pretty happy with this. Even though it's not a lot of crit, it just looks pretty 
because all the stats are pretty good and then my circlet i hit the hp percent but otherwise it's pretty good so that was my hazel he's at c4 right now noel is obviously c6 but hazel is only c4 hopefully i can get to him get him to c6 soon my sino is also pretty well built but uh, the main thing okay what the fuck uh, i forgot to swap this build i was using an er sands because i had to don't judge me for that uh, where are his sands um, um yeah there we go why does book ignore that so this is my sign off for pstf i do not actually want to show you all this stuff even though i am showing you all this stuff uh, the main purpose of showing sign is this feather i love this feather oh my god look at that 103 elemental mastery hell yeah that's that's the goat that's the goat And then you have my normal characters. I will just show you some that I like. This is my Kazuha, 800 EM. I cannot do anything about this. We have to let Kazuha's idle animation play. It's, it's the law. So he's using the Paponius. I always used to use Iron Sting on him. Even though I did not never I did never have energy issues with the Iron Sting. I tried Favonius once and when I did, I have never swapped it back. <laughs> it's, it's just so good. Artifacts obviously, 4 piece VB, Constellation C2, Talents Triple Crown, because obviously that's the law. My Bennett is kind of whatever, he's using Instructor build most of the time. Sometimes he does use Noblesse, but most of the time it's just Instructor. He's C6 obviously because I do not have skill issue unlike some players who refuse to activate the C6. And yeah, Shao, we can trust Shao. Shao is pretty good. My Shao is 24 and okay, okay, look at that. So Shao ascends with crit rate and his weapon PJWS gives him crit rate. So people just cannot use Mario Shose because they have skill issue. They cannot get a balanced ratio. But look at me, 55. 55 with all those scripts and now with Mare Shose I'm at 91 and then Shyam gives me some so yeah I'm still not at 100% but that's how you make a good artifact then now no that's how you make a good build that's how you balance your stacks uh, his burst and onward dagger obviously crown his skill is kind of eh I do not like it this piece is very very juicy I know some of you are going to flex. Oh, I have a 50 CV Gladys flower on my shelf. Well, does it have 26% attack? I think not. So that's my Mare Shose Shao. And yeah, that's uh, okay. And we are gaming too. I will show you my gaming. So he is using this weapon. I just leveled it. Uh, do not worry. He does not use this usually. He uses the Rain Slasher. So these are his stats, 1460 attack, 440 EM, 46, 173, 130 ER, I am very very happy with this. Because I have, I mean, I still have to battery him, but I'm still pretty, I'm still pretty happy with 130 ER, it's better than having none. Here's my C2, Talents Triple Crown, because that's the law. Marish of the Hunter, here are my pieces, boom, 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 boom. And yeah, that will be it. Okay, I can show you my sim too, I guess. <laughs> I'm just increasing it one by one. So, 1500, almost 1600 attack. If I level 90 him, it will be 1600, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's it. I'm a chad. Yeah, okay, so now 1600 attack. I did that just so I could say my sim has 1600 attack. Right? I do not want to be included in the 1500 range. That's for noobs. So you can see non-existent elemental mastery because yeah and look at that beautiful energy chart that is so beautiful 200.0% utter perfection obviously he's going to be c6 and using four piece emblem his talents are uh seven seven eight i will level them sometime i just i just forget to farm these books and shelf man i i, I can't do it i always need to farm artifacts so yeah and my Shanyun, uh... Okay, yes, of course. Uh, so she usually uses the Pap Codex. And okay, uh, that's still the wrong build. Um, give me a bit of time. Why? Why? 
Uh, I need a bit of a pause here. I need to find the artifacts. Okay, there we go. So that's 23 ER, my attack circlet. And here's my attack goblet. And I believe now she's fine. Yeah, 2600 attack, 5 codex, 186 ER. But if I'm using her with Shao, then I can swipe the Wanderer's weapon because of the high base attack. Even though the passive useless brings my attack up by 500 points. So pretty good. I use it and I still have 140 ER. Anyway, so that's all my good characters. I will not show you the rest. I, I, I cannot show you the rest for my own sake. Now I can show you some of my good artifacts. Okay, so this is the official piece right now that she's using. I will say first, do not mind which piece on is on who because I keep swapping my builds around a lot. I mean, if they added artifact loadouts, I wouldn't have to, but yeah, I kind of have to right now. So anyways, this is my official flower right now. And sometimes it is this one and other times it is this one. I mean, all of them are pretty good, but yeah, and sometimes it is also this one. I do not remember which one I usually put. Uh, this is a great feather. EMER crit rate damage. Nice. This is also a very great feather. Crit rate damage. EMER. My golden tuck is a pretty good damn. I never realized. And this is obviously the goat sands. This is my attack percent sands. Pretty happy with these. My goblet you already saw. Uh, why is the Rosario? Never mind. Uh, crit rate is kind of whatever. 68 flat attack. It's cool. Uh, this is also cope 65 em i mean it's not cope because of 65 em is pretty useful and it has 12 br but like uh, crit damage is better usually you know uh, this is a goat this is a circlet that i was using before i got this one because believe it or not compared to these crit rate circlets and this crit damage okay this is also crit rate uh, i made a fool of myself this is crit damage so this crit damage and these crit rate circlets were worse than the hp percent circlet even though i already had an hp goblet and hp sand if that gives you any idea do what you will with that information but yes i got this 25 percent goat piece so obviously i swiped it this flower is very good but it hurts me so much because it it easily puts me on crit over cap because it's yeah I mean it's such a good piece I cannot throw it away but it's on a set that just ruins the crit rate so much. This piece is pretty good. This piece is also pretty good. Uh, this is my fodder. Do not mind it. It's ass. This is a nice piece. I'm keeping it because of the EM. Maybe I will use it. Maybe I will not. Who knows. Maybe it will, it will become fodder one day. Damn that's a nice science. When did I get those? And these are 80 percent sands i it was double crit i did not have anything to do i was feeling my gambling addiction so i leveled it and it rolled kind of well now i'm keeping it in case i end up accidentally pulling for an hp scaler that uses my as a hunter Oof. i should take breathers in between this is boing boing and now this, these are kind of just ass these are all just uh, eh, whatever kind of artifacts this is a good one um uh, this is kind of whatever i mean it's not whatever but it's not that great either and what else is a good piece uh, this is a good piece and and, and 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 let me find good pieces i don't have that many so i have to find them. this is a very good piece yes my reptile goblet this is also pretty good for my naida 86 elemental mastery i love this piece a lot this is a very pop champ flower this is a pop champ circlet. It has all the good stats and it rolled once in every single one of them, which does actually devalue it a little bit. But it's fine, it's still a good circlet nonetheless. These are kind of whatever. But for Yun Jin, these are pretty good because it has good rate for the Favalanche, defense percent, and the recharge. Yeah, all that stuff. This is pretty good. This is eh. This is eh. This is also eh. Oh, wow what the fuck why is that on healing bonus anyways uh i'm looking for a piece uh yeah this one 
This is such a good piece. Like it has 33 crit damage, 3 crit rate, and then it has a 10% HP for Yolan as well. It is not 9.9, .9, it is 10%. I count it at a, I count it as 10%. And this is bad. This is this eh. This is whatever. This is what oh, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good piece. What else do I have in a pretty good piece section? Yeah, I'm gonna stop that right now. I'm I'm gonna stop some more artifacts. It's not that I do not have any good, more good artifacts left. I am just feeling too lazy to search for them and show it to you them. I totally have. I'm not lying. I totally do have better artifacts. Yes. I, I do. I do. I'm not lying. I swear. Here's a quick rundown of the material I have. If anybody's interested in that for some reason, you can pause if you want to see anything. I do not do my weekly pauses. So if they these things seem kind of low, then that's why. Oh, I am only doing the new one. I do not do the rest. So yeah, that's all the stuff I have. I'm not a food guy. I've just collected all these from the maven stuff. These are my billets. Obviously, I do not use them much. I only use uh, the sword ones or and the Aminoma. But otherwise, I don't use them. And I don't do weekly bosses, so I don't have many either. These are my other resources and stuff. I have all the gadgets pretty much that were ever available ever since I have started playing. So any gadget that was available in the past two years, I should have it here. These are the just quest items. I have done every Archon quest, so I have the items. And then this is my just star glitter, 130, my stardust, 2897, 30 dream solvent, and 30 fragile resin. I still have not opened this bullet row from Dragon Spine. Because again, I do not even use these. And here is the furnishings I have. Nobody is going to be interested in that. So yeah, boom. Done. <laughs> like I said in the community post, if you are interested in seeing my characters in action, you know, pushed to the peak against, you know, I guess we will do it on the ride and boss. The ride and weekly boss and then give like food boss and all that best gear I have and all that stuff. And see how far I can take my teams. I mean, I'm not really a food buff kind of guy. I do not like food buffs. I think they are cringe. But doing them once uh, probably should not be that big of a deal. But yeah, that's uh, what I think I could maybe do. I don't know if I will do it or not. If you have some ideas of what you want me to do, then yeah, make sure to leave a comment. I will try to do it. If you have some sort of challenge for me or something you would like to see from around. So, see you next time.